His shield was his message. This mass outworking of charity to cover who he really was. Nothing is as strong as love. Spoken from the heart, I love you. It was very difficult to watch this man preach every Sunday. Topics about love and about mercy, they felt very strange coming from his lips. For as long as I can remember, I have been raised as Tiki Joshua's daughter. I knew the child, Ajoke, right from birth. She's his actual daughter, his biological daughter, with another woman outside of wedlock. He, he doesn't seem to like her very much. She was like kind of labeled the black sheep of the family. Ajoke grew inside the synagogue like an outcast. I think he wanted to keep her a secret. I don't think he wanted anyone to know who she was. The message about Ajoke was that she had terrible evil spirits that needed to be driven out. There was a time in the disciples' meetings, he said that people could beat her. Anyone in the female dormitory could just hit her. And I saw people just walking in, just slapping her as they walked past. As long as I can remember, I was raised up as my father's son. As long as I can remember, I was raised up as my mother's son. Was I there when my father and my mother gave birth? Why that is it that a lot of you have brains, but you refuse to have understanding? Two days ago, there's been this trending news that um, Ajoke is not T.B. Joshua's biological daughter. And because of that, a lot of you who are on the side of T.B. Joshua supporting him are saying, because Ajoke is not his biological daughter, it means that every other thing the disciples said about T.B. Joshua is false, it's not true. But I'm here to tell you guys today that whether you like it or not, or whether you want to believe it or not, Ajoke is T.B. Joshua's daughter. I don't know how many of you can remember Brad Pitt with Angelina Jolie adopted children from Africa. And I also don't know if a lot of you know that Madonna adopted kids from Africa. Now, when those kids grow up, who will they call daddy? Who will they call mommy? Do you guys not know that when you adopt a kid, that kid becomes yours. You are the father. You are the mother. The kids you raise up doesn't have to be biologically your kids. As long as you choose to adopt a child, whether a baby or even a grown-up man, you want to adopt that child to be called yours and to bear your name, that child is your child and you are the father, you are the mother of that child. So what are you guys saying? That Ajoke is not T.B. Joshua's daughter. First of all, in that interview with BBC, Ajoke said, that as long as she could remember, she was raised up as T.B. Joshua's daughter. She did not say, my biological father is T.B. Joshua. She says, as long as she could remember, she was raised up. As long as I can remember, I was raised up as my father's son. As long as I can remember, I was raised up as my mother's son. Was I there when my father and my mother gave birth to me? I was there, but I didn't know if they are the actual people who gave birth to me. Only from DNA, I can be sure that my dad is my dad or my mom is my mom. So a lot of you who are saying that because Ajoke is not T.B. Joshua's biological daughter and that there are evidences everywhere to prove that every other person is lying, you are the one deceiving yourself. Because if you are adopted, you are your parents' adoptive child. So what are you talking about? Just because Ajoke is not T.B. Joshua's biological daughter and you think she is not his daughter? Hmm. Una just the play. So I stand here to tell you guys today, I stand here to repeat that whether you like it or not, Ajoke 
is T.B. Joshua's daughter. Whether you like it or not, the kids that were adopted by either Madonna or Brad Pitt or Angelina Jolie, they are their kids. That is who they call daddy. That is who they call mommy. So please stop with all these sentiments. If T.B. Joshua effed up, he effed up. And there is a lot of evidence everywhere. Just like I always say, if you do not like it, you can present your own evidence that he did not F up so that you can sue BBC. Yeah, they're so rich. They will pay you if they actually are telling lies, if you're actually defaming TB Joshua's character. Otherwise, just accept the truth that TB Joshua F up and case closed. It's your boy, The Crackhead, wishing you all a wonderful Friday. Bye for now.